On the UK version, there's multiple chasers. You're the only one in the US version. How much pressure is it to have to take on three people every time you film a show? Uh, pre Where's the value? Um, I, yes, obviously the pressure is because you know if you're having a bad day, it's a bad day. But it's, it's self-inflicted in many respects. It's the craftsman's pride of wanting to do a job well. And as I said, it's, I come off sometimes and I've won but played badly and I'm going... Argh. Whereas other times I've lost, but I know I've played well and they deserve money. I go, well played. But that's, but that's the joy of it. I look at it this way. Part of the thing of being the best is you've got to prove you're the best. Anyone can say they're a great tri trivia player. I go out and prove it two or three times a night or whatever. Yeah, I'm going to have the odd bad game. But I keep coming back and step back for more. So that brings me to the question, though. Do you honestly, as a fan of game shows, do you ever get prepped on any of these questions that are being seen on the show? No. No. Obviously, I do some homework, which is a different thing. So for, knowing I was going to do the American chase, I've been reading up on U.S. cabinet positions, who's the director of the CIA, the FBI, the Secret Service, trying to work out... Um, notable politicians and stuff like that because I'm going to get some much more American based questions obviously I would in Britain but that's part of the thing of being a pro I wouldn't want to be prepped you know this is the pride of thing I want to it's well one of the great quotes I used to like was was it John L Sullivan the world's the first heavyweight boxing champion of the world used to walk into a bar and slap his money down and say is I can beat any man in the world well, okay, I'm not quite that, but yeah, I want to. I want to be able to go into any trivia bar and say, "I'm Mark LeBat, I'm the Beast. I'll take anyone on. I might not win, but I'll give you a damn good game." And hating to lose, right? Well, that's yeah, <laughs> hating to play badly. Hating to play badly. Be your best. That's it. You want to play well, and you want to learn. I love it when I go to a quiz and someone beats me, and I go, "As long as I've learned something," because I think, "Okay, next time I won't get that one wrong."